Hi folks, Puffin here with your Antifa News Briefa for March 4th, 2022. Extended version. This is about the letter that Trump's lawyer sent to Mike Pence's lawyer blaming him for the siege, saying if you had done your job and overturned the election, we wouldn't have had to lay siege to the Capitol. So they have it in writing, not from Trump, but from his lawyer. I mean, but we've got enough from Trump. So it's really disgusting how they haven't arrested Trump or any of his close associates yet. And gotten this whole insurrection shut down. Um, somebody was asking, we were talking about this, if this isn't treason, then what is? And my answer to that is any of the same things done by somebody who's not a white supremacist. It's not like white people can just do that because of white privilege. White people can't just go storm, as, as a leftist white person, you can't just go storm the Capitol because you're a leftist. But if you're a white supremacist, you can, apparently, because Trumpers. So this shows that all Trumpers, Trump, everybody supporting Trump, and everybody slowing down the arrest of Trump, which will happen, everybody slow walking that is a white supremacist. They're not an American. They're a traitor to America. They're a white supremacist. And this, you know, shows, it shows them how they cheer on Putin as well. He's Trump's boss. So the one who sent him here to destroy America as much as possible. So real Americans are against these white supremacists. And it doesn't matter who they are. I'm getting real suspicious of Merrick Garland, who for some reason they couldn't let on the Supreme Court. But is you, So you would think he would come into his role at the head of the Department of Justice with a vengeance, ready to get some of these traitors. Instead, I hear that, for instance, first of all, he hasn't gone after Trump or any of those people yet. He hasn't gone after the organizers of the Trump surrection yet. But I hear that Ahmaud Aubrey's family was disappointed with Merrick Garland because he was trying to talk them into a plea deal. Now, they won their case, proving that it was a hate crime, when three men chased down Ahmaud Arbery in a pickup truck with guns and shot him, killed him, lynched him. When they did that, they proved in court that it was a hate crime, but Merrick Garland didn't want them to prove that in court. Merrick Garland told them to settle out of court, to take a plea deal, because it's hard to prove in court. Now, the fact that they proved it in court is a landmark case, and that helps other people prove it in court in future cases against Trumpers. But Merrick Garland didn't want that precedent. He wanted to settle out of court because it's hard to do. So thank you to the family and condolences and blessings to the family. Rise in power, rest in peace to Ahmaud Arbery. But just follow me on this. Hypothetical. If three non-white people chased down Trump, for instance, chased him down on the street in a truck with guns and said, hey, you look like a guy we saw in a video who killed a million Americans and six million people worldwide lying about Trump virus. You look like that guy and they murdered him. Would Merrick Garland come out and say, you know, let's settle. Let's not go for hate crimes, especially if they were yelling anti-Nazi slogans at him the whole time. We say, let's settle. Let's not go for hate crimes. No. They, those people would be arrested and charged. There wouldn't be any question about it. So that's the way it works with the current system in America. White supremacists can commit all these crimes. If you committed any of the same crimes against white supremacists, you'd be in trouble. But they can commit the crimes. And that's what shows you that they're white supremacists, Trump Putineers, traitors to America. American cards revoked. And we need to get them out, especially the ones in power. Lauren Boebert, Ted Cruz... Greg Abbott, Ron, Ron DeSantis, Tucker Carlson. We need to get them out, off their platforms, off the streets. I don't mean just don't have a radio show. I mean, don't get to talk to anybody because you're in a cell, because you're a traitor, because you're a Trump Putineer. And you know that's what they are. We all know that's what they are. Why don't my v videos get any views besides by Trump Putineers? Because YouTube's in league with them. It's time to shut it down. It's time to flip the switch from right-wing hate speech to left-wing love speech. Thanks for watching.